Hello everyone and welcome back. I have already recorded a video. Well, I did record one and then things kind of went wrong. So I'm re-recording one. <laughs> um, but firstly, happy new year to you all. Um, I'm so sorry that it's taken me so long to get around to posting a video. Um, I did have one recorded as I said, but then that one I didn't have a chance to post it and then my birthday happened and yeah it kind of just was a bit pointless to post the other one if I was already recording this one and it was just a whole thing um because like a lot of the things I mentioned in the last video like didn't happen and then I didn't want to have to come back and explain like it didn't happen and all that because I was supposed to be filming on my birthday and it didn't happen because the people that had the venue that we were supposed to go to they had covid so we couldn't film there so i then had to make like last minute plans and i was gonna vlog and then i forgot and then it was like a whole thing so yeah <laughs> um and i felt like the last video that i had done was kind of sad because obviously um my aunt passed away and then we had her funeral on the 7th and then i just haven't hadn't been in the right capacity to film like videos because obviously funerals are very sad so I didn't want to make the video like super super sad so I just thought I would like have a little chat with you guys and do like a little birthday haul and just like catch up so yeah I'm also wearing my never take it off bracelet by Matty Mullins um I actually need to like hold it and like get someone to tighten it because it's kind of like gone loose a wee bit already and I know it's supposed to fall off but I don't want it to fall off yet because I literally just put it on recently so <laughs> I'm like someone please tighten it because I can't do it so I'm gonna try and like hold it and hope and pray that it doesn't come off yet um, so yeah I actually had a really nice birthday like on the Saturday um, Jenny came over, my friend Jenny came over to my house and we had like a brunch, um, I can always, I might put some pictures up here for you guys to like see the brunch, um, it was really nice and it was just like a nice time, so I wear my dressing gown as well by the way, like I'm really cold, um, cause like I had, I opened my little, like the little vent in my window and it was so windy so it's really cold in here, um, so it's a dressing gown kind of day, um, but I am dressed, um just cold but anyway sorry i've not recorded it since the last video so i'm gonna probably ramble a little bit until i get like into it so i'm really sorry um so yeah she came over we had a really nice time we had our brunch we had the little jam because i had like alexa on and alexa was playing some bops and it was just great like see when alexa listens to you and like kind of gets it right you know it's a good day she played memphis mayfire she played sleeping with sirens she played the wu-tang clan she played like so many great bands she also played you old school you meet six and bring like normal bring me the horizon like new bring me the horizon i was like thank you it was fantastic and then on sunday since i didn't have filming my mum finally managed to get home early from work with her new job because sometimes she finishes a bit later um and yeah so we went to see the new spider-man don't worry i'm not gonna spoil it for anyone but if you haven't seen it please do because i think that's one of my favorite films that I've seen so far this year that's the only film I've seen this year like at the cinema but like that is definitely one of the films that is like best to see at the cinema like I really really enjoyed it and I think it's my favorite spider-man like of all time so I do recommend so yeah we went to the cinema and then we went to a, a Mexican restaurant called Chiquitos at well called Chiquito but yeah, Chiquitos, it's just similar. But yeah, so we went there and I was so happy because they'd done like vegan Mexican food. And like some places do like vegan Mexican food, right? But they had vegan nachos and vegan fajitas. Like a lot of places just do vegan burritos or like um, enchiladas, but not fajitas. And I'm like, <laughs> and they had vegan churros. And I was like, stop it right now. <laughs> like... It just made me so happy and then I saw Greg when we came back so that was really nice. So I thought I would just show you guys what I got. Obviously it's not me bragging. Um, I just like to... I also didn't have much of a new year video so this is kind of in replacement of that and so that I can actually post something and then get back into the channel because I feel like I've had enough time off from the channel 
from Christmas and now. So, because it felt weird because I was like recording and posting and now there's just been nothing. Um, and I also don't want to keep rambling to make this video super long because it's probably going to end up being really long because it's like a haul type thing. So yeah, I'm going to try and not talk so much and just get into it. So, from my lovely fam, like my mum, dad and sisters, I got some violet gin and it's the bow gin but, and it's always such a nice bottle but oh my gosh, I love this gin so much. So yes, I'm more of a gin fan of like when it doesn't taste very alcoholy. Like I don't like alcohol that tastes too much like alcohol, <laughs> really. Um, unless I'm already tipsy, then I'm probably not as bothered. But like I prefer gin and stuff that's like sweet and it like you can't really tell that much or it doesn't taste too much like alcohol. Like I'm more of that kind of. Out. But then I like I'm down for shots and stuff when I'm actually like there and um, my mom didn't have enough time to like print some of these out so like they're just on pieces of paper but um she's gonna get me tickets to see RuPaul's Drag Race at the Armadillo which is the season two one that got rescheduled because it got postponed because of Covid so that's on the 6th of February this year so that is so exciting because it's season 2 with like Ellie Diamond and Lawrence Cheney and Bimini oh it's fab and then she also put that had to write them all out bless so in my last video that I was going to post but never happened I explained how for my 21st birthday I was surprised with a trip to New York but because of the ongoing pandemic, it got um, postponed. Like they put it on hold for when it was safe to be resumed. So we got confirmation that it should go ahead in November. And fingers crossed it goes ahead for this November. Because I was supposed to go um, in November in 2020. Was it 20? Yeah, in 2020, but obviously. Sorry, I'm like, sh I'm not keeping up well with this new routine of like school runs, chores, like I don't have to do the chores, but I don't, I, I can't cope with things being a mess. So I end up just doing it anyway. But yeah, so we were supposed to go in November in 2020, but obviously COVID happened. So we haven't been able to go yet. So fingers crossed it goes ahead. So neither the time, because of obviously the exchange rate not being very good, because obviously the economy is not really fully back up and running to like its full capacity kind of thing um we i'm going to be getting 150 dollars to spend in new york um when we're able to like neither the time of when we're going because that should hopefully be a lot better for like exchanging things and obviously i'm going to save up money to like take there um, and obviously if i can't go this year at least it's saved up to go when we're ready so <laughs> yes like it's exciting i cannot wait obviously I can't not vlog going to New York because I think it'll just be fun to look back on it um, and just have, share it with you guys. Plus, I love vlogging. Like, vlogging is the best. So, it's going to be so exciting. So, I'm just going to try and move swiftly on. Um, and so, I'm going to go on to what my friend Jenny got me. Um, she got me this really nice Capricorn necklace. Like, you know, like the astrology. Is it? No. The... Like basically the star placement of things, like how you look in the sky. So this is the Capricorn one. I had to put it back on the thing so you could see what it looked like. So and then it says Capricorn is ruled, is ruled Saturn and is the sign of determination and discipline. You are practical and responsible. Family is extremely important and you can always be counted on to be strong and patient. So I wore this um, on my birthday with my gold Capricorn one. I know you're probably not meant to mix silver and gold jewelry but I actually looked really cute and I was loving for it so and I really like that necklace it's so nice um sorry my cushion slipped from under my feet and it was really sore um because I sit on my feet all the time it's so bad um she obviously got me some vegan chocolate this is the normal um chocolate bar and here's some moo free white chocolate bars can't wait to eat them and she also got me the Little Mermaid from eyeshadow and face palette from I Heart Revolution. This is so hard to get into. Like I accidentally ripped the side of it trying to open it, but I've actually gotten into it a wee bit quicker today, so that's a bonus. So obviously it still looks like that, and then when you open it up, 
that is what it looks like so i cannot wait to play about with that and obviously i still will be doing there's a lot of thing requests that people had made of like videos they'd like to see because i asked because i had an idea of doing like a full face of makeup from places like Primark or like B and M or like Home Bargains, and people wanted that. But obviously, it was close to Christmas when I asked, so like all my money went to Christmas. So I was like, I'll just wait until the new year, and that's something that I can do then. And oh my gosh, right? Um, her mum got me a gift, and a lot of people won't understand the story behind this, but others will. So I'll give you a quick rundown. So when I went to Stagecoach, which is like a theatre art school for children, it's like one that you go on to a Sunday and then you get taught singing and dancing and acting. And we had to do this devised performance where we like kind of made up the story. And we had decided that we w wanted to do like a rehab facility for superheroes and my superhero was called Penelope the Pineapple and the reason she was in this facility is because she turned everyone into pineapples by sneezing because she has an allergy to nuts and when she was out at a market she turned everyone into pineapples and that's how she ended up there. So I kind of adapted this persona of Penelope the Pineapple. I'd always, whenever I'd have my hair like half up half down like that was Penelope um because that kind of represented the kind of pointy bit of the pineapple um but I also just like that hairstyle it's cute but that's kind of Penelope the pineapple and I would like at concerts I'd get so hyper when I was younger and be like oh my god I'm Penelope the pineapple and like all that so this gift is really sweet so she got me this dog <laughs> plushie that's got a pineapple costume on so obviously I had to call the dog Penelope and now I really want to get a dog and dress them up as a pineapple because and call them Penelope because it's so cute I love her so much she's so soft also like so so soft um there's so many things but um yes I will move swiftly on so I'm gonna just tell you what I got from my grandma because it's not like it was more of like a digital thing it wasn't like a in-person thing so <clears throat> I get a text from my grandma on my birthday being like um happy birthday and like having a birthday message and she's like check your xbox and I'm like huh so I like I'm like okay so I like go on and I have like a gift because you can send like gifts on the xbox and I was like wait what <clears throat> so I clicked on it to redeem it and it was freaking life is strange the new one and I was like stop it right now like I've been wanting to play this for a long time because I love story games and I was like stop and she got the deluxe edition and I was like what is going on I was so shocked but so happy I really need to play it but it's because it's the series x and s version and I obviously have the series s but like the series s doesn't have as much storage as the x so like internal storage so I have to like move a whole bunch of things for me to play it so I need to get around to that because I really want to play it because it's so exciting I love life is strange games they're so great and I haven't seen my cousin yet to get, because I know that she got me a gift. Um, but I've not been able to see her yet. So unfortunately her gift can't be featured in the video. But I'm sure I will post it on stories or whatever for you guys to see if you're interested <laughs> in what she got. Um, so I'm going to move on to Greg's things. And honestly, like, I was so shocked. Like, I was freaking out. Like, Greg was like so chuffed because I was like freaking out so much because I didn't expect some of these things especially this one I'm about to show you so as you can see it's a converse box and I was like no way it felt like a box for shoes and I was like mm, pair of, a nice pair of Adidas shoes like I'm I'm down I don't know why because he just he's bought me Adidas shoes before so I thought maybe they'd just be Adidas but no we have some converse and oh my god stop they're honestly stunning like these these are so me, like honestly. They're the astrology ones, like ah, they're so cute. I'm so into like astrology, like I just love reading all the stuff that people put up. Like I don't, I mean I understand astrology and like the basics, but like I don't know enough to be like an astrology girl, if you know what I mean. Um, I would like to, but I just, I don't, I don't. <laughs> um, 
but I thought it was so cute because on the inside here it says make magic and then on this bit it has all the like zodiac signs which is I just love so much and I've never owned a pair of like high top shoes before so I'm so excited and plus they're black so I'm like my goth self is just living it's living um thankfully though i do fast venture out into other colors i'm not just always in black thankfully anymore because uh, <laughs> wearing black all the time was difficult especially when it was summertime um but yes yeah, next gift i don't want this video to be so long time i do apologize if it ends up being really long even though i keep saying i don't want it to be long he got me three victoria secret body sprays because i kept going on about wanting body spray and then like they had an offer on them so i got the victoria secrets pure seduction decadent um so this one's berry chantilly winter plum a deep rich take on pure seduction this one is i think it's my favorite out of all of them but i do like them all like they're all good like they're all really nice i wish i could let you smell them if you haven't smelled them before and this one is velvet petals which is rich pomegranate arctic berries a deep rich take on velvet petals this one is also nice too and it's also nice wait yeah no this one has more of like a fruity kind of smell and i really like that but this one kind of is sweet but also not at the same time i can't think of the word for it we all know me and this one's bare vanilla which vanilla is such a nice smell it's really nice but it's not like just pure vanilla like it has stuff in it where it's like glowing amber vanilla bean deep rich take on bare vanilla so it's got other things in it so it makes it a nice combination i really wish you guys could smell it because it's so nice this one is so cute so it's, it came like this i've never heard of the disney couture kingdom before but oh my god they have such nice things on there also very pricey um i was like excuse me um so then it came like all nicely packaged box number one came like this uh, if i can't even get it open i'll show you what is in here oh, i don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that hold on maybe if i use the lid it's the alien from toy story that really did not make a difference to the lid um, and it's earrings so yeah there's a set of the little alien from toy story earrings which is so exciting um because me and jenny used to call each other aliens um like we used to be like i don't even remember where it came from to be honest but we used to call each other i don't know if it's because we used to get really hyper when we were younger and like just call it we were like oh my god we're like aliens and things like that um and then a necklace to go with it which is so exciting i can't wait to wear that because they're so cute and we always love like things that match um because i never used to like gold jewelry but then i got the capricorn one because it looked just looked better than gold so i'm like now i need a gold bracelet and things to go with it and it's not usually like me but i'm realizing as i get older i'm liking things i didn't used to like before <laughs> you know that's not always a bad thing sorry i'm really uncomfortable because i'm sitting on the floor trying to like maneuver but yes the next gift is a glossy box box um because they were obviously they must have had an overstock and they were getting rid of them so this is the black friday edition which is so cool like it came so nicely packaged yeah i keep forgetting to put that one back in every time i show someone what's inside um so i'm gonna put that one down so it came like this which was so nice so obviously just like so satisfying undoing the bow see because now i'm not sitting on my feet you can't like really see me very well so i'm gonna try and move it sorry who saw the mess there my room is stressing me out so i'm so glad to get this done so i can actually put things away um so yes where did that wee thing go if i can try and do it without it falling this is all the things that we got in it so i will show you we have the Brave New Hair um, Keratin Mask Concentrate for your hair. Um, so that's exciting because my hair needs some work. Um, we got the Mitchell and Peach English 
Grower's English Leaf Body Oil. I've never used body oil before, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. We got the Nip and Fab Illuminate, so it's vitamin C scrub, exfoliating scrub for your face. At first, I wasn't sure if it was for your face or not, but it is, so that's exciting. Um, we also got some tanning water. Um, I don't, as you can tell, I don't tan. Um, but it's something I have considered because I am so pale sometimes. Um, but I just haven't got around to it yet. But because I don't have a public job anymore, there is an opportunity there for me to try it and get it right. So if it goes wrong, then it's maybe not the worst thing ever, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> my god, yes. We also got this Lottie London Ombre Blush. It is so pretty, oh my gosh. Like, look at that! That is so nice. Oh, I love it so much. I cannot wait to try that out because I've been getting so much into blush lately. I'm really enjoying that because it makes me look less pale. Um, We also got the Beauty Crop Wing Women Eyeliner, which is so exciting. There is also the Hemp, Dr. Botanical Hemp Moisturizer. At first I thought it was a hand moisturizer, but it says that it's for your face because it's like apply after a serum and it's also vegan and cruelty free which we also stand. We've got this Josephine highlight liquid highlighter and oh, oh it's very pretty. I put it on my hand and I was like yes. So how bougie is this bottle? Like it looks so fancy and then it has just like this little applicator. I'll put some on my hand so that you can see. Like, stop it right now. It's so pretty. Like, ah! It's funny because I'd done my first ever reel slash TikTok and oh my gosh, it kind of blew up with the views on um, Instagram. Sorry, I don't usually... I don't really use TikTok, um, but I've done one of those transition type ones where you don't have makeup on and then you get ready. And I was quite impressed with myself because it lo looked quite cool, although it needs work. Um, and if any of you want to check it out, my um, TikTok is reverse the crown, <laughs> just like my Twitter. <laughs> so yes, um, and we also got the Beauty Pro Brightening Sheet Mask, which is collagen vitamin c and aloe vera i don't think well it says it contains natural ingredients so that is good because i know that collagen isn't vegan so we have the glow home spa mask remover so it helps take off your like your face masks which are like clay or um but it also just says Mask remover, effortless beauty, innovative fiber technology removes cosmetic masks with water. So yeah, takes. I, I did see somewhere. Was it maybe in the wee booklet that you get? Probably. And there we go. That's what's in the glossy box, which is exciting. It does actually kind of make me want to try it out one time. Get like a subscription and see what we get. Um, just on the basis of you can get some really cool things. Um, which. It's exciting and then I could always give me also a reason to like do some kind of like unboxing, try it out, see how we get on, what they're like type thing if there's makeup and stuff. Um, so always something to look into in the future, that is for sure. I think that was all from Greg actually. He did bring over some custard which but it wasn't for christmas oh there was also um a bed sheet fitted sheet and some pillowcases because that was for the bed and that he got me at christmas but he just kind of got it as a just for but they're in the tumble dryer because i washed them last night so i want to put them on my bed um and he also bought me these really nice um he's like you can just make it as a late christmas present but they're downstairs but he bought me um, B and b&m i've been doing these um dash hound like plates sets so there's like these giant plates small plates and these bowls that have little dashings on them and they're white with like yellow kind of trim i'll put a picture up here if i get to that um from greg's brother 
I got because I've been needing a water bottle for ages so I got this one because I wanted one that wasn't plastic because every time I've had a plastic water bottle it um, goes really funny like it tastes of so like the dish soap or like it just goes funny or it leaks everywhere and it's just not it so I wanted one of those ones that are like better for the environment so and plus this is a cute colour like we stan and oh my gosh vegan fudge you cannot go wrong with vegan fudge that is for sure so i'm excited to get stuck into that i have so many sweets like i still have loads of sweets from christmas i have like sweets coming out my ears so if any of y'all want some i can send some your way <laughs> um, and from deb debbie and steven which is greg's mom and dad i got some things it was a mustardy dashing blanket but that's also being dried right now so i can't actually show you but i might be able to put a picture up for you to see what it looks like they also got me these lime basil and mandarin scented candles which is exciting with this little tea light holder with the love hearts which is so nice um unfortunately i am not allowed candles in my room because i am very clumsy and my mum doesn't trust me with them she doesn't think that sorry my stomach just started rumbling there um i really need to probably need to get some more food but i'll finish the video first um she doesn't trust me to not knock it over and we do not want to cause a fire so i will be putting them on downstairs and still being able to enjoy them because at least there's more people to supervise and if it's not in my room there's less likely of a chance that i'll drop it and set a fire to the place because so many times like i'll just drop things randomly and they're like what how why how did you manage to drop that and i'm like sorry <laughs> we also got this really cute blue purse and because i love small bags i do actually need to get like a bigger bag like a handbaggy type bag maybe not though after the next thing but i lo love having small bags and my grandma always has the cutest small bags um so and i always need purses for them so i have an extra little purse to go with my bag my small bags <laughs> Um, which is exciting. She also got me this tote bag, which said filled with good energy. I don't know, sorry, I try and see if you can see that. Woohoo! And its bag is made with vegan materials. So we stand, and I don't know why my face is looking like this today. Oh, ma'am. She also got me some Rocky Road. We cannot go wrong with Rocky Road. We also got... A move free chocolate bar like the bigger one we also have the free from chocolate bar a chocolate orange free from bar because these ones are vegan too the nomo ch caramel and sea salt bar which i do love those um the chocolate crispy bar and the nomo caramel one which we stand. I have so many of the caramel ones because I still have all the ones from Greg's big giant box. Um, it's always so hard though when it's Christmas and then your birthday because then you have like lots of nice food at Christmas and then you have cake on your birthday and nice food on your birthday. So then there's like not a lot of time to eat lots of chocolate. Well, you can if you want, but for me, I'm just like, oh, there's not enough time to eat all the chocolate, but I will get round to it. Um, I got this really nice happy birthday um, hanging decoration and I got this really nice bracelet that looks like this which I cannot wait to wear it's really really nice so oh and I also got this nice white scarf with but butterflies on it with some nice flowers which is so nice because I really need more like neutral kind of scarves and things because a lot of mine are just like random bright colours like I have a nice orange one that my grandma got me and I have a pink hat and it all doesn't usually go very well so <laughs> yes it's just what it is really I just really need to get some more things um this video doesn't go completely the right way because I was going to try and like pause it like stop and then just keep going so it was easier and there wasn't so much of me like pottering away and doing other things so there's nothing in that bag but it's not gone that way so i'm just going to continue this bag is heavy 
but not for why you think it's going to be heavy. <laughs> So this is from Greg's Auntie Diane. She always gets me a birthday present. And there is a fun fact that I actually share a birthday, or was it the anniversary? No, her birthday. I think it was the birth her birthday. It's either her birthday or the anniversary of what of their mum. She's sadly not with us and I didn't sadly didn't get to meet her. But I thought it was really cool that we have like the same we shared a day together of something. I think it was her birthday. I'm pretty sure it was her birthday and not like an anniversary of something not so nice. So it's nice to think that we share something together <laughs> because there's quite a few coincidences of things that match up that we're always like, wow. So yeah, I think it's always nice that she gets me a birthday present. And um, she got me, <laughs> look how large this is. Like, but this is my favourite shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's the Tresemme used by professionals. Um, luxurious moisture for dry and dull hair. Like my hair can get so dry and dull and we do not stand. So having a giant one of these is like everything. Like we really do stand. Um, she also got me these really nice pajama bottoms. Pretty sure they're pajama bottoms anyway. Yes, they are. She also got me this top to go with it. And I love fluffy tops. Like, they're the comfiest. So, I can't wait to wear those. And she also got me this. I cannot get this in the frame properly. But she got me this really nice lounge hoodie. She said that there's lounge bottoms to go with it. But it hadn't arrived yet. So, she's like, hopefully they'll arrive soon. Um, and... She also got me the strawberries and cream shower and bath gel, which I love. It smells so good. It's so annoying because I wish I could let you guys to smell it. Mm, smell things because they're so nice. So yes, that is everything I'm pretty sure that I got for Christmas. I didn't forget my grandma's gift, obviously. We can't forget we can't forget my grandma. Um Yeah. So I done pretty well. Like I'm so spoiled. Like it's ridiculous. I cannot wait to get the gin open, but we had no lemonade, so I was like, sad times. Because I'm not a fan um, of tonic water, like, I just feel like it's too bitter for me. And I'm like, have a really sweet tooth, so I was like, no, oh, thank you. So yeah, that is all the things. I'm so glad I finally got to do this video, though, because it's taken me so long. And I'm just so glad to get it kind of like out there to you guys, because it's taken me so long to kind of get back into the rhythm of filming and get it done, so... I'm glad that it's finally done. <laughs> um, but yes, I think it's because the things that were there are not there, they're downstairs. It makes me feel like I'm missing something and forgot something, but I don't think I have. Oh, Greg also got me, um, I remember now, Greg also got me the new DLC for Animal Crossing, the Happy Home one or whatever it's called. I forgot the actual name of it, but the one where you can like design their vacation homes and things, which is like so exciting. Oh, he also did get me a game, that's why, because I didn't put it back. He also got me the Little Dragon Cafe game. I knew there was something missing. It's because I put it in my Switch last night um, and I forgot to put it back in the bag. I was like, there's something missing. So yeah, those are the things that were missing. He got me like those two games. Um, so I finally covered everything. So yes, I'm so glad. I finally got this video done and you guys will finally get a video to start off the year and I can finally get back into a rhythm with the channel, fingers crossed, um, because it's still hard getting into a rhythm with like the school run and then me trying to do the chores and then potentially getting work throughout the day. Um, but I'm really trying my best to kind of like figure it all out. Um, but we'll get there together and I appreciate all your guys' support as always. And let's hope this is a great year for the channel. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.